Hello guys, welcome back to yet another in-depth review video and in this video we'll do in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 stable build which was recently released for OnePlus 9 RT. We'll try to cover almost every aspect, general stability, camera, performance, battery backup and charging speed. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 RT. First of all, let me show you the software information because yesterday OnePlus have released another update for OnePlus 9 RT based on Oxygen OS 13, but it was a very minor update. If you see now version is F.12 and the update size was only 18 MB, which improves system stability. I would have held the review, but I think this update won't matter on the bugs which I have encountered on Oxygen OS 13. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so first let me tell you one thing i've seen most users asking about the 5g support so guys on oneplus 9 rt we do have the support of 5g but i wasn't able to get geo sim card so i cannot test with geo but here you can see i have airtel sim card and i do get 5g network now let's talk about some of the bugs which i encountered as i I told you guys I did encounter some issues on Oxygen OS 13 running on my OnePlus 9 RT. First let's talk about the notification issues. So notification issues what I have to say is these are not only related to 9 RT on almost every OnePlus smartphone which is running Android 13 aka Oxygen OS 13 do have these issues. So one of the issue which you guys can see here that's related to the preview image of any notification. So this is not only about YouTube. I have seen with other applications also here in this case whenever I tap on this arrow mark or if I slide down the notification to extend it the preview does not appear. So this is one thing which I have seen on almost every device running Oxygen OS 13. And here you can see the second notification issues wherein I was trying to remove the notification. The entire notification got this solid background color. So these two issues which I have faced related to notification during my usage. And another issue which I have noticed on my OnePlus 9 RT. This is particularly for OnePlus 9 RT. Sometimes here proximity sensor is not that responsive. It doesn't happen always but I have observed when I make a call and try to keep it near my ear most of the time I found out there are bit of issues with the proximity sensor and I think it requires bit more calibration and I've also seen few times my OnePlus 9 RT screen becomes unresponsive so in that case I cannot take the screenshot but I have a video recording which you can see towards the right hand side that I did record when that issue occurred on my device. And another thing which I wanted to highlight is related to this managed text color. And I do see a bit of difference between the text present towards the left hand side which says all apps and with the text which says manage. And here I was able to take a screenshot. So the thing was here you can see this is a screenshot guys which I have taken. Here you can see the color of the text is kind of fluorescent color and this happened when I enabled match wallpaper color. But it is not about enabling match wallpaper color. After that I tried changing the wallpaper also and the case was same. I tried multiple wallpapers but the text remains exactly in the same color. So I think it is a bug if you guys have encountered do let me know in the comment section below and if you have not observed try changing the wallpaper and use the feature of match wallpaper color you guys might be able to notice this thing but this is what happened on my device and after that next issue is related to the weather widget so here weather widget doesn't automatically update the weather we have to always tap on it and if you guys see the permission manager i have allowed all the necessary permissions and I have given access to run location permission in the background all the time. Still it doesn't update the weather automatically. I have to tap on widget to get the weather updated. And this issue have still not been fixed wherein it says warp charge on lock screen and in the battery section it says super warp. And guys I think OnePlus have removed the system cloner option from OnePlus smartphones. Right now that feature is only available on my OnePlus 10. So let me show you if I go to settings privacy and here you can see i do have system cloner option but on other oneplus smartphones for example i have oneplus 9 rt if i go here this option is not present i'm not sure whether with oneplus 10 also they'll be doing the same thing with upcoming update they might remove this thing 
and I've also seen few users complaining that partial screenshot gesture automatically turns off now and then. But guys, I have enabled this feature from day one after reading your comments. From that time, I haven't seen this thing getting turned off or getting disabled automatically. So guys, these are some of the issues which I have encountered on my OnePlus 9 RT during my usage. Now let's talk about the battery backup and charging time. And guys, in my every usage, I use the higher refresh rate. Haptic feedbacks are turned on always and I also use ambient display feature. Here is the first screen on time where you can see my OnePlus 9 RT which gave 4 hours and 38 minutes of SOT. And this is with my normal usage without any kind of gaming. Second time with little bit of gaming I again got similar screen on time which is 4 hours and 38 minutes. I did almost 7% of gaming during my usage. And this is the third screen on time where I got 4 hours and 56 minutes. Again I did little bit of gaming here too. Now many people are complaining that charging speed have been decreased on Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 9 RT. I personally did not find out any kind of issues with the charging speed. Here you can see I started charging my device when the battery percentage was 20 and the timing was 126. Exactly at 2 o'clock my device was fully charged. So it took approximate 34 minutes to fully charge. I know if the battery percentage would have been lesser than 10 it would have taken another 5 to 6 minutes more. But I think 35 to 40 minutes is good enough. Now let's move on to the camera segment because it's been long time we haven't covered camera of OnePlus 9 RT. So you guys must be aware IMX766 is top notch sensor. Here 9 RT is using that sensor to its full potential. I did not see any shortcoming in the processing done in 9 RT. The details, HDR processing, sharpness, everything is done very well. I would say this Oxygen OS 13 did not hamper the quality of camera. The results are satisfactory for me. Only thing I would say is the shadows could have been exposed well and the noise which is evident when we zoom in should have been smoothened out slightly. Slightly. Let's look at some of the ultra wide shots. The color consistency is maintained pretty well here between main camera and ultra wide. Although ultra wide camera is not very sharp and detailed as main camera. Certainly it gets the job done when needed. This is 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. It's more than enough quality than a useless 8 megapixel ultra wide. In selfies, this is typically OnePlus processing with very flat picture profile. It doesn't make the subject lively. Sometimes it overexposes the face and blows the highlight in the background. Don't get me wrong, it certainly gives useful quality if we manually adjust the basic focus and exposure. One of the major plus point of IMX766 sensor is it's too good in low light and it shows here. Clarity is more evident with less noise and no over brightening. But 9RT performs way better in night shots compared to OnePlus 9. And now at last let's talk about the performance part. So to test out the performance, this time I tested out three games. One is Battlegrounds Mobile India obviously because most users demand that. Next one is Apex Legend and third one I also tested out New State. So when it comes to BGMI, so if I had to compare it with my OnePlus 9 because if you guys have seen my OnePlus 9 review video in that OnePlus 9 was struggling a lot to maintain stable frame rate but that wasn't the case with OnePlus 9 RT. Though OnePlus plus 9 RT do feels warm but device does a decent job when it comes to gaming that to games like Battlegrounds Mobile India. We don't have the support of 90 FPS but overall performance in BGMI was decent compared to my other OnePlus smartphones like OnePlus 9. I was able to play games on daily basis for almost 4-5 days until I've used my OnePlus 9 RT. But when it comes to 90 FPS, new state do delivers 90 FPS guys. But I did notice it wasn't constant and soon you start screen recording, FPS will be back to 60 because screen recording is restricted to 60 FPS not 90 FPS. And in new state I did not see any kind of frame drops but when it comes to Apex Legend there I did notice a lot of frame drops. I don't know why. But Apex Legend have some intense graphic that might be the reason and Oxygen OS 13 I don't think was able to handle those intense graphics. So I have seen a lot of frame drops in games like Apex Legend 2 along with BGMI which is obvious. So guys this was the in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 stable build for OnePlus 9 RT. I hope I have covered everything. If I have missed out anything do let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.